All right, welcome back to another episode of our Factions playthrough. We left off at the Tanakai Temple after being joined by some awesome Guild Wars vets, teammates, party members, all around cool people. Um, but we're going to continue on from here alone with our team of henchmen. So let's get these people in here. Um, we got a lot of support. Now let's get some damage. Um, let's go with illusion. Da, 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 da. Let's get some more damage in here. Minion master is good. And da, 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 da. let's get talent silver ring. He's cool. Cool factor. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get to do a mission this episode or not, but we do need to get to the next mission area. Let me close all of these mission tabs. We got a meeting with the Emperor, so we're going to go from here. I'm going to be running a pretty trolly build. I never use this Echo skill, so I'm just going to try and spam like as many Chaos Storms as possible. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure... So, uh, in the last mission, we were tasked with meeting up with the Emperor, of course, but also tracking down some ancient Luxon and Kurzik heroes that will teach us how to take out uh, Shiro. So, let's see what the Emperor has to say. Emperor Kizu. Okay, the Empire has seen dark times before, but I fear that Shiro brings a darkness no light can penetrate. Shiro's purpose here was to bind these heroic spirits to magical constructs. Yeah, we got that. We saved all the spirits. Spoken with Vizu, learned much from her. Um, I believe she would persuade her father. Who do we need to talk to? Count Petrov. Oh, okay, so these we got to talk to the Kurziks and the Luxons. Yeah, that's what I just said earlier. All right. Anyway. Uh, let's go back to Jin Jinku Corridor and talk to this dude. Emperor is a very wise man. You should take his advice and seek out Danica. All right, Danica is the Kurzik person. Sounds like she might become a very, very valuable ally in the future. I had an extra very there. Sunjiang district, talk with Danica, blah blah blah, seek her out, Menlo will accompany you. Cool. It is Master Togo's hope that you'll be able to call some favors. We get lots of skill points from these quests, that's awesome. I guess they want us to buy and check out as many skills as possible from factions. Alright, talk to Danica. So far not a lot of action this episode. I'm hoping we can find like a decent Mesmer elite. We got one last episode, I think. And it was this arcane Langur. And it's okay. I just it doesn't have much impact, I feel. At least we can't we can't notice the impact. So uh I'm not a big fan of it. I like seeing these numbers, so I'm hoping this build will give give some crazy DPS numbers popping up. I thought about instead of Chaos Storm, since I'm going Elemental, it's doing like Firestorm. But I believe Chaos Storm will actually do more damage in the long run, especially since it's only 5 energy as opposed to 10 energy. Alright, so I'm going to cast Echo. These are all Assassins, so I'm going to go after the Marksman with a Chaos Storm. And then Lesser Energy, Arcane Echo. And then when the Mesmers get up close, we're going to do melee. And then a third Chaos Storm. I don't think I have any sound. Let me check the sound really quick. There we go. Distracted me. So I'm just spamming as many Chaos Storms as possible. Didn't really pay attention. I got distracted by the sound. We'll try it. We'll, we'll, we'll hope for better results in the next fight. Um... Which way do I go? Um, let's try the enemy's way. I don't know. It feels like we're going away from... Let's go left. I told you, it's really easy to get lost in these pathways. Kanang City. 
So I liked that combo. Echo. Oh, they're running away. Let's cast it on the healer. Healer. Oh, I wasted it. Dang it. Uh, it's okay. We can put um, double empathy on these guys. It's not a bad strategy. Yeah, it does a lot. 49 damage per thing. And mind rack combined with energy tap. Hopefully after them... Hopefully that combination can get them down to zero energy. And then that's a pretty big damage spike. Oh, right. She's got these, like, crazy pets. I don't think we see these kind of... Like, I don't even know what they are. I don't I don't think they're seen anywhere else in Guild Wars, as far as I know. Um, what's she talking about? Don't worry, I'll send someone to look after you. My father will send food, medicine. Danica. She's cool. Alright, let's just talk to her. Um, no longer content to remain in the protective confines of my society. So she's left the Kurzix to try and help pe other people. She's good. Uh, okay. So she's like royalty in the Kurzix. I had to kill her parents right in front of her. Okay. Uh, oh, they were plagued. I got you. Don't make a move without months of careful prayer and deliberation. Of course, I'll help you. Meet me outside the city gates. Okay, let's go. And... Pongmei Valley. Alright, let's get their combo off better this time. Echo. Chaos Storm. Electric Bliss of Energy. Arcane Echo. Another Chaos Storm. And then another Chaos Storm. Plus Empathy. Yeah, I don't really have any energy problems. Nice. It's pretty good. I mean, these are just against little weak Amfa people. But it's kind of fun. It's a very This is a very busy skill bar. I like busy skill bars. So far, this is not too bad because it's kind of straight shot. All right, now we're getting into some real battles. Afflicted. Echo. Let's use it on the elementalist here. Try not to get nuked. All right, guys, get out of there. Yeah, they're just standing in it. So I need to figure out how to avoid getting my whole team nuke like that. But luckily, I'm also a nuker. Oh, I got some keys. I picked up some keys in the uh, in the last place. Ah. Well, max energy focus, Plagborn focus. It's a pretty cool. The Plagborn stuff has really cool um, skins. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's like a it's like a crazy monster arm or something. That's pretty sweet. The Plagborn weapons. I'm a big fan of them. Turn your turn your character into a freak. Freaky. Mutated weapons. Uh, who is this? This is a ranger boss. Let's do that. Target the monk again. Let's send them over here. Good. Uh, I got distracted. I messed up my combo. It's okay. I'll cast a double empathy. I think this is pretty decent. Nice gold weapon. I'm getting lots of gold drops in this faction so far. 
Do they like buff the drops in factions? Swordsmanship plus three. I don't know how popular that rune is. Warriors generally need health, so I don't know how many warriors go for superior runes, actually. Okay, let's not mess up this combo. It's a kind of a difficult combo because I've got to I've got to go. Usually, I just go left to right, but this one requires me to go like left to right and then back over. Oh, I, dang it! <laughs> uh, this is not this is not for me. I'll get it. I'll get it down. So let let me count it out. I go one, two, three. Four. One. One. Oh, so it's it is it's left to right. One one two three four one four. That's the combo. Echo. Yeah, one, two, three, four, one, four. That's how we do it. I think we're already at the next area, so I'm not gonna be able to do it in this unless I get ambushed, maybe. Hoping for an ambush. Please. No. It's all good. Um, had a had an interesting comment in the previous video. Is maybe I should be interested in capping other elite skills from uh, non mesmer enemies because as we get closer to nightfall, we're going to be using heroes eventually. So it might be wise for me to start collecting other skills. So. That was a nice comment by Tar Heel. And I think I'm going to follow it. The only issue is I don't have much money. I'm very poor. One, two, three, four, one, and four. There we go. Yeah. And they just run away. Now that we wasted all of our skills on two enemies, perfect. Echo lasts a long time though. It's like 30 seconds I get to use that skill. Ooh, nice. You see that 89 burst that was from Mind Drag? Okay. So I, I executed my combo flawlessly. Oh, another. Let's back up. That was the tip we learned from previous ambushes as we back up when the arm fall drop down now that they're grouped up a little bit one two three four one and four yeah look at all that damage and they're losing all their energy mind rack dang that's pretty good Main main song the sadistic. That's good. That's some good damage. I didn't get to see his elite skill. I wish it showed you the elite skill even if you don't have like even if you didn't have the secondary. Like, they, they could have easily made it where they're just all grayed out because I don't have the correct profession. But I should at least be able to see what skills they're using. We got a lot of enemies here. I'm going to I'm gonna try... Okay, I thought the water poisoned me for a second. Definitely looks like it should poison. I'm going to try and aggro them and then get them to group up. Get them to group up a little bit. I see them on the minimap. Perfect. Now let's do it. Let's nuke them. They're distracted by the... Uh... Oh, man. I messed it up again. Oh, I suck. Look at all those numbers. Uh... It's okay. I can get... Double, double empathy is not bad. Consolation prize. Nice. 
Wasted. Wasted my chaos storm on that dude. Little turd. Oh, we're finally leaving the city. Look at that. Look at this view through the through the pollution of Kaining City to the beautiful mountains of Cantha. This is Pongmei Valley, yeah. Now we're getting to some good scenery. Oh, I need to go this way. Lurkers from StarCraft. There we go. They look a little more harmless here. Man, level design, really awesome. Look at that, the contrast of this monstrosity scaffolding and the natural landscape of the mountains. Icantha is huge. I don't know why they would feel the need to just like all squish into this city. Ju Kao, the deceptive. So his name is the deceptive. I I'm guessing he's not alone. Ooh, Assassin's Promise. That's such a good skill. Didn't make a mess up the combo that time. Ooh, and then I get a full full recharge. Oh, big mistake. Oh yeah. Very good. Yeah, Assassin's Promise is so is a really nice assassin skill that's actually really good for casters. Because it's essentially like Echo. It actually might be better for me than Echo because enemies die all the time. And what happens is just like what happened with the boss where you kill the boss and you get recharged all your skills. You kill the person you hex with Assassin's Promise and then suddenly you get all your skills and I think you get some energy back. So that would be excellent for um, our Mesmer nuking ability. Gosh, that's so much damage. How is he still alive? I gotta say, this was a pretty fun build too. That Brotherhood Knight though is kind of tanky. Okay. I think I might come back because it's pretty close to the exit here. I might come back and get Assassin's Promise really quick. What did I get? A purple cape? Come on. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of energy. Oh no, Radiant plus Attunement. Attunements, both of those are pretty valuable. Let's see if we can get both of them out. Ah. Where'd the purple go? There it is. Trash. Yeah, he got melted. Do I have any more key? Yeah, I don't have any more keys. Hmm. So Jade Brotherhood are all the way out here, huh? I'm not even going to look at what's going on. I'm just going to manage my inventory during this battle. Ultimate disrespect. Okay, I need more salvage kit. All right, we're here. Matu Keep. Redemptor Carl. All these like interesting names and then his name is Carl. It is with a K, so he's got an interesting spelling. But I feel like his name doesn't really match his exquisite weird costume. No longer content. She's saying the same exact thing she did earlier. 
I'm glad you came. I'm not sure if you would actually show up. It's horrible, horrible. Plague is out of control. Canton people are dying. We have to do something. We have to help. So she really wants to help. I'm sure there isn't anything we can do that the Emperor isn't already doing, Danica. There's something we can do, and I intend to do it. My new friend. Oh, we're friends. And do no such thing. What does she want to do? She wants to help us retrieve this urn of Saint Victor, right? All right. This plague is a message from the gods. Clearly, they're not happy with the Canton Empire. The gods are very wise. I should have seen the signs. Blah, blah, blah. Bring Menlo, Menlo to the house of Zuhelzer, and we shall finalize our deal. 24 days. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. St. Victor salute your... Oh, this 200... How many? What? 200 years ago? Whoa, I didn't realize that was such a long time ago. So Shiro is like an ancient historical dude in Kanta. See Menlo again. We thought he was dead after what happened. What happened? That's all, That's what you're going to leave? That's the cliffhanger you're going to leave us on? I'm certain your father would like to see Menlo going. I thought he was dead. Yeah, what happened? I guess we have to find out. Okay, Matu Keep. Um, yeah, let's change to Assassin. And let's go pick up that... Uh, I didn't really need that energy thing anyway, I don't think. Let's go pick up that skill. Who did we lose? We lost a hero or henchman? Oh, uh, fine. Let's get... Uh, let's get... Uh, Earth Elementalist. Earth Fire. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're going we're to go back and terrorize this Deceptor dude. We'll do this, get the skill, and then we'll go to the next mission area. I think the next mission, unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure the next mission is Arbor Stone. Yeah, because Chaos Storm's only five energy, like, I don't really need that much energy management after all. Hmm, now I'm thinking about it. Maybe Echo is better for this. For this build particularly, Echo works probably better than Assassin's Promise. But, yeah, I'm wondering what it would... How we can use uh, Assassin's Promise. Need to think about it. Oh, they've got... She's got that um, X removal. We're back. He's like, no. Not you guys again. Triple empathy. Staring at a brick wall there. Sorry, guys. Yeah, triple empathy is pretty strong. So it's total, like, reduction. That's like... That's like 39 damage every attack reduced. Combined, I mean. I wonder how easy this guy would be to farm. Probably not because I don't know if you if you are able to block attacks, it might be might be pretty farmable. All right, give me that assassin's promise. 
So elite hex skill for five seconds. If target foe dies, you gain five energy and all your skills are recharged. Of course, we're going to put some attributes into deadly arts. Like already seven seconds is kind of a long time. So we don't need to put that many points into deadly arts actually. So I'm going to, yeah, let's continue on. Since we got double, <laughs> we got, this is crazy. Yeah, we got double elite skills with Echo and Assassin's Promise. This is going to be a really crazy um, chaos storm. I think we're going to be able to get like six chaos storms off in a very short amount of time. Let's test it on these keyed in. I don't even care if I miss Chaos Storms, actually. And I messed up my combo, so we're not going to get a good showing of it. But, poof, everything's back. This is going to be fun. Yeah, what other skills would be good? Assassin's Promise, and... Yeah, I guess the Domination skills are going to be the best to use with Assassin's Promise. But yeah, not too much difference using running Echo and Assassin's Promise, especially if enemies don't die. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We'll test it out next. Instead of Echo, we'll run Assassin's Promise. It's kind of more forgiving, actually, from our point of view, because I mess up my combo so, like, like just then. But luckily, see, I got all recharged. Now I got triple chaos storms and just boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's so, so disgusting. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, I wish we could run both of these all the time. It's too bad. Okay. What team, what what faction did you guys usually team up with in factions? Did you go with Kurzik or Luxon? I pretty much always and only did Kurziks. I thought they looked cooler. Also, they're the first ones you're kind of introduced to, so I immediately thought of them as the good guys. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm curious. Is this is this? Yeah, this is a uh, this is an outpost over here, isn't it? It's weird. It's like you come in through a you come in through an outpost and immediately. Oh no, it's not an outpost. Oops. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna solo this. But yeah, I'm curious uh, which faction you guys teamed up with. I was surprised to hear that people actually did consider Luxons the good guys. They're not. They're not good guys. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go pick up another Elite skill really quick. And then we'll continue on. I don't think it's much further. Elite Signet, I mean. And... We'll put another skill on our bar. Something like, I don't know, Ether Feast or something. Or, yeah. Let's go. Uh, oh, we lost a lot of teammates for some reason. Oh, we got Nika, though. Let's see what she runs. Mm. There we go. Yeah, what skills does Nika have? 
That's that's what I was trying. I was trying to remember Nika's really famous in factions because she's on the cover of the box. I for I realized, I forgot why, I remembered her being so important. She's on the cover of the factions box. Ooh, look at all these groups. So we're actually gonna start with Arcane Echo. Then there we go. You guys saw what I did. I don't need to talk through it every time. I think energy tap is plenty for energy management for this build. Are they removing the hexes? What's going on? I think we we double aggro. That's the issue. Let's take out this person. Assassin's promise. Look at that. Just boom. Recharge. 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 I mean, really, Assassin's promise might be enough. Um, energy regen. Maybe not. Got a lot of enemies up here. Let's be careful. How many... It's all. It's also deceptively a lot because they, they summon like several different um, spirits. Alright, so there's two groups going opposite ways. Let's take out the right one first. Again, usually you just need to take some time. Whoops, I need to cast Arcane Echo first. Let me change that order up. Here we go. Took out the warriors really fast. Wicked blade. What's that look like? Oh, it is wicked. That's cool looking. All right, I think that was it. Lift operator shoals. So they're like, are the are the Kurziks like German influence? Their names, their names are like Victor von blah blah blah, shoals, Danica. They're kind of. They don't look... I don't know. I'm not gonna suggest anything. They do look quite... Like they frequent... Um, gothic... Laser shows... In dark places underground. Um, they look pretty cool. It is my duty to guard the entrance to Arborstone. If you have approval from the Council of Nobles, I can arrange transport. Of course, the Danica... We all thought you were dead after, you know, well, never mind. Tell me what happened. I am sure that Count Zu Heltzer will be glad to see you. You must be on the, me, the other ones written for Carl told me would be arriving. Let me know when your party's ready, blah, blah, blah. And let's go. And let's go. Arborstone. Very cool. This is a really tough mission. This will be fun to do. And ooh, a cutscene. Very cool area. You may rise. 
It has been a long time since we last met, Brother Menlo. Indeed, Count Zuhelsen. I'm glad to find you in good health. I am similarly pleased. But enough with the pleasantries. You have come here with a purpose, have you not? As always, Count, you are well informed and to the point. We have come for the urn of St. Victor. This is not a small thing that you ask, Brother Menlo. The final resting place of our greatest hero. The man who single-handedly slew Shiro, the betrayer. Single-handedly? I thought he did it with the Luxon person. Because, Count, Shiro Takachi has returned. If what you say is true, then it was indeed very wise for you to come to us. Then you will give us what we seek? We wish to help you, but I'm afraid it's not as easy as just handing over the urn. What is it you require of us? We require nothing, but St. Victor's remains are ensconced inside Cathedral Zuhelsen. All right, then. We shall go to Cathedral Zuhelsen. Brother Menlo, many things have changed since you were last here. The Cathedral's magical protections have failed. It's been overrun by all manner of terrible beasts. To go there will mean great peril. I see. Always. If you still wish to pursue the urn, speak with my daughter, Countess Danica. She can open the doors within the cathedral and help you recover what you seek. Thank you, Count. Thank you, Count. Menlo did all the talking. Godspeed to you. Are we even the main character anymore? Okay, Arbor Zone, here we are. Um I like the I like the build that we ran. Super Nuki, Chaos Storm. Um and next episode we're gonna be doing Arborstone, hopefully successfully. This is a rough mission. Uh it might take a couple tries. I might need to do some research on the enemies actually. As uh Tar Heel pointed out, I am like 0 for 5 in uh bringing the correct skill and and henchmen, so I'll try and I'll try and figure out <laughs> what I need to bring. I'm guessing probably uh, conditions or something for the next one. Anyway, I'll do some thinking. Thanks for watching. Uh, did a lot this episode, so stick around. Next episode, Arborstone.